What's up all you crypto maniacs out there? It's good to see you today on the Speak and See Show. I ask you to like, subscribe, and click that notification button so when I get information out, you can get information in. Now, we have seen crypto.com go off on us at the worst times possible. Anytime I think there's a move to make, I can sell or I can buy, I can make money or I have to hurry up and get it out before I lose money. Crypto.com shuts down on me. What's going on? This is not cool, man. Um, usually there's no explanation. However, this time there was. There was an explanation that they were hacked. I'll go over that with you real quick. And then we will go over how to get back in if this has happened to you and you've been locked out of crypto.com. Now we have gone over a video that I put out the other day. It gives you the, uh, the visuals that you may need in order to uh, get back into your crypto.com. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, what happened at crypto.com, the reason why everybody was locked out in case you're not familiar with, information from Coindesk recently just came out the Crypto.com CEO acknowledges 400 customer accounts were hacked. Chris Marzalek, he's the CEO, said all of the affected accounts were reimbursed. Now, that's huge, guys. Now, I noticed that the stocks went up today, and that's probably in part due to he did reimburse every dime that was hacked out of the Crypto.com accounts from the people that were in there. So if you were in there and you noticed some money was missing, well, they're, they're reimbursing. That's great to see. It's great to hear. And uh, kudos to them. The CEO of Singapore-based crypto exchange, Crypto.com, Chris Marzalak, confirmed on Bloomberg TV on Wednesday that 400 accounts were hacked earlier this week after several layers of firm's security were breached. On Monday, Crypto.com suspended withdrawals. That's probably where we're at right now. That's probably why you're here, that you were your account was suspended for withdrawals, in particular withdrawals, but it could be all together. You, know, you never know what they're doing. Anyway, on its platform, following user reports of unauthorized activity, uh, later users were required to sign back into their accounts and reset their two-factor authentication. That's the video I did on two-factor authentication, re-signing in and how to do it, how to go about it. Uh, you guys can go click on that and rewatch it. However, I will show you a uh, description here in this video of exactly how the tech had told me to go about it as well. After detecting breaches, Mars Lake said that the firm quickly paused withdrawals, fixed the issue, and was back online in about 13 to 14 hours. He added the same day, all the accounts that were affected were reimbursed so that there was no loss of consumer funds. Mm, yeah, well, uh, here's the thing. I, I, I agree with no loss of consumer funds. However, when you can't get into your account to get money out or buy at a certain time to get money in, when you close accounts for 13 to 14 hours, there's going to be a loss of funds. There could be a gain of funds, too. A gain of funds in ah, instead of a gain of function. I said gain of funds in. Okay. Anyway, um, so so but there were no. Um, he added the same day all the accounts were affected were reimbursed. So the people who were hacked uh, didn't lose anything. They they get their money back. But I I can't I can't sit here and agree that uh, no f loss of consumer funds because uh, if you can't get into your account next. According to the chain data, approximately 15 million in Ether, 4,600 ETH, was stolen in the attack and being laundered via Tornado Cash. Although Marzalak would not say on Wednesday how much money had been taken, he said Crypto.com would release a postmortem in a few days that would include, include the final amount. Marzalak further emphasized that given the scale of business, these numbers are not particularly material and customer funds were not at risk. That was a big, big blow to those of you who have crypto accounts. That was, uh, that was the main factor. That was the reason it happened. I just wanted to get that out there and clear their names, for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now let's go into how we are going to go about uh, getting those accounts back with two-factor authentication. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go now to crypto.com together. We're going to go and I'm going to show you some resources that we have available that we can use in order to get our accounts back. I'm going to show you the one I used yesterday and got some uh, questions answered that we had had. Uh, we, I did ask the question of why the phone numbers weren't working. A lot of you were saying, hey, I'm using my same phone number and you know, it's, they're telling me that I can't use that same phone number or vice versa, email. Um, yep, that, that was all part of the... Uh, 
the, the mode that they were in as far as resetting everybody's account. If you go into crypto.com, this site right here will come up. This is their site. Uh, you, you click on the uh, bottom chat uh, picture that you'll see right there. And you'll click on that. And that'll allow you to ask them questions to get to me. It took seven hours about approximately for them to get to me. And right here, I'm going to go through uh, see your conversations. Okay, so I'm going to go there. Uh, the first conversation I had was right here. And we're going to go and is your inquiry 2FA related? Uh, if the app is forcing you to update your 2FA login and you are experiencing an issue doing so, please click on do it later, which will allow you to log to the app. So you're not going to click. Uh, so just click do it later. And they're saying that that should allow you to log into the, the app. And then you go to the two factor settings right here. Uh, the two go to settings, two factor authentication and enable two FA for all events from there. Once again, I put out a video yesterday explaining exactly how to do this, showing up, showing pictures and, and, and video of uh, actually how it went down. Uh, if you're unable to set up your 2FA on your first attempt, treat, please retry a few times until you're successful. There's the key right here. A lot of us just try this once and are like, oh man, it's not working. Uh, that's because their system's constantly updating the new information and, and letting new people in and, oh, you know, kind of like that. So you just have to keep trying. And that's the thing with crypto.com, which really gets me sometimes. Everything will be really bad and nothing's working. And then you click back on it and it's like, well, nothing ever happened. Everything's fine again. They updated their systems and got everything uh, back to normal. So uh, they're going to, it repeats the same thing here with the same thing I just showed you before. But remember, just to keep trying uh, if you're not successful the first time. Now we're going to go a little deeper here. Okay. Okay, so this is my second inquiry, and I had once again said, uh, yeah, it's not letting me use my phone number, um, which is my phone number, <laughs> and I can't use another phone number. So this is what they sent me uh, regarding that. It's similar but different. It's uh, I, I don't know how to explain it, so I'll just go through this. Uh, if the app is forcing you to update your 2FA login, make sure you have the access to the email you registered with in the app below and follow the steps. Now, now here, we got to re realize that sometimes we will give them uh, our correct email and it'll say, oh, it's not the right email. Well, you got to keep trying and log back out then log back in and blah, 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 blah. But you just got to keep on doing it's weird. I know it sounds weird and it is. There's still, there's a lot of hiccups here to work out. This is a, a fresh company. Okay. So step one, uh, select set up on your, uh, at two FA in the app, copy the link code or use the QR code. In step two, in step three, go to your 2FA authentic and you guys can uh, pause this if you'd like, or you can probably go and ask the question yourself and they would send you the same thing. Or you can just pause as you go if, uh, if you need to uh, read this information and follow it step by step. Uh, step three, go to your 2FA authenticator application. You can find one in the Google store and choose the add choose to add a new account. So you're going to add a new account. Even if you do have an existing one, you're going to add a new one. Uh, paste the code link from step two. You can also type it manually or scan the QR code. Once you your new 2FA is set, please go to your 2FA authentication app and delete any previously saved accounts for the crypto.com app. I know, kind of, kind of, kind of am I sure I want to delete my, my account? Uh... Where's it go? Am I sure that I'm going to get my other one back? Yeah, uh, well, that's what they're making us do. And uh, crypto.com is known to make you do weird things. I remember I had to send a picture of my face holding my ID when I first got signed in, showing that it was me. And it was like, wow, I'm showing my uh, ID and a credit card in a photo and sending it over the internet. It was like, whoa, this is creepy. But uh, it worked. And uh, here we go. I'll keep going and quit blabbering so much. Sorry. Pigs do that. Okay. Please be aware of the 30 second window to enter your code after which is going to expire and a new one will be required. That's what your authenticator will refresh every 30 seconds and throw in a new code, which uh, is directed to your site. So if you don't do this in a timely manner, it will uh, make you redo it again. Okay. If you are unable to set up your 2FA for your first attempt, retry again, 
a few times and there it is again retrying and retrying and that's the key here guys and girls uh keep your trying and keep your heads up because it, you're gonna get it back it, it's it sucks because i've heard some people say it's been days uh i one time it took me personally it took me uh, i think it was four or five days before it finally came back and i was like oh wow okay cool it's back and i lost a lot of money in the process well didn't lose but i could have made more i should say uh but uh it is uh frustrating you normally do. The issue we have had with the 2FA is now resolved. It was affecting the 2FA passcodes and whistling whitelisting addresses. Please note that for the latter, there's a 24-hour window for newly added addresses that can't be used for withdrawals. So if you're just adding a new address in there, it's going to take you a day before you're allowed to actually pull back out for withdrawal, which makes sense, but kind of sucks. Um, for 2FA, please follow steps below in order to set it up select your 2fa in the app these are what we just went over and over and uh it's always good to know these know these steps without having to read them that way uh you you can be more familiar with your uh your the way that you're handling your cryptocurrency in and out once your new 2fa is set you can delete the previously saved app okay and we all went through that and how are you doing i hope you understand now uh, I, I don't like giving bad reviews, so I won't give a bad one. I don't, but it's not really exactly what I need to know about phone numbers and emails not being the same. So I'll just, uh, I'll leave the review go. And I do thank them for their reply. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully you can get your accounts back. I'm going to keep on keeping on with this and trying to find smoother and easier ways to direct you and anybody out there who has uh, seemed to, uh, been in the hiccup area of losing their accounts or being, you know, can't get back into their crypto.com accounts. So hopefully this helps, guys. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and thanks for watching Speak and See. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.